Hey guys, it's my first time ever going live on YouTube. We'll see if it actually works and if I get interrupted here in the hospital. But I'm in between cases and I thought I would talk about something. I get a lot of emails lately um, about new medical schools that keep popping up and what I think about them. And so I'll sum it up really quickly in three quick points. One, new medical schools aren't the worst, but if you have the option to go to an established medical school, you should. And here are the reasons. One, there's established faculty at that school, and those faculty have connections, they understand what it's like to get into residency and go beyond, and so you're gonna want those uh, connections that'll hook you up and have you go on um, to the next phase in your career. And so those connections were big time. For me, going to Stanford, places like Stanford, my letter of recommendation writers could make calls on my behalf and directly call up program directors and say, hey, this is Andre, I know him well, you're gonna want him, he's great. And that made all the difference, because when I went for my residency interviews, uh, these people are like, oh, I heard such great things from you from such and such. And I'm like, yes. So that's what you want. When you have new medical schools, it tends to be new faculty. And so they haven't had time to build up the reputation um, in the community at large. And so it makes it much more difficult for residencies. The second thing is, is when you have a new school, what are they going to be doing? They're going to be spending money to build the school up. And if they're spending money to build a school up, what are they not spending money on? You. Right? You look at schools like the UC schools, right, because I'm from California, you look at state schools or Texas all over the place, you look at schools like Stanford or Ivy League schools, what they have is they're old. And so they're old, they're established, their foundation is there, they don't have all those outstanding cash flows and so because of that they can invest in the students in fact they've actually over the years established endowments where basically the interest <laughs> from the money they get from donors they can use to fund students and so I was actually just having this conversation with a fellow in the operating room um, the other day and she's a cardiac anesthesia fellow and she went to Stanford for a residency and I was talking about how much I missed Stanford it was so great because there was always catered lunch everywhere you went and she was cracking up and she's like yeah and just the abundance of money like anytime you wanted to go to a conference or whatever they could fund it and so schools that are established have extra funding like that and new schools won't have that funding because they're spending that money trying to build up their faculty trying to recruit people and so they'll be spending money on that and not on you the third reason not to do a medical new medical school is because you don't know what their thing is gonna be and you always want to know, right? Going to medical school is a big commitment. It's four years, it's $100,000 in loans. So you want to know exactly what you're getting into. A new school can tell you, oh yes, we're going to be about this and we've got these things. But like any new device, right? Everyone who bought that new iPhone, right? Or that new, was it the Samsung Galaxy that was exploding? For you people who jump on these early bandwagons and then stuff backfires, right? You've got to work the kinks out. And new medical schools go through this the same way that devices do. If it's a new medical school, they have all these kinks to work out. They may be trying something. They may tell you it's innovative, it's amazing. It's never been done for before, but might have never been done before for a reason. Therefore, you need to let them work the kinks out and then go to that school later on. And I know it's appealing, right? That's the, the reason to go, right? Is everyone says, oh, it's less competitive. I can get in there. You know, it's it's a small school. This is going to be great. And But it's just like Caribbean schools. And if you haven't seen that video, you should check that out, my video, The Truth About Caribbean Schools. But just because it's not competitive and you can qualify doesn't mean you're qualified and i get lots of these horrific emails from students i literally i think it was two days ago i got an email from a student who had just seen my about um all the truth about uh, caribbean medical schools and was like you are spot on because i'm actually i think they're in their late 20s now and they said in their early 20s they got accepted to a caribbean medical school they went they weren't prepared they weren't ready to give a thousand percent and because of that they're put on administrative leave by the school and they actually never got invited back and so they dropped all that money on tuition for that one year only to not be able to progress in their medical career and now be in a position where they might not actually be able to go back into medical school because how do you explain getting kicked out of one medical school and then not like they were kicked out but they just weren't invited back so it does happen and the same thing can happen at a new school if you're not ready if you're not prepared to succeed exactly ouch is right I just saw that ouch um, so be prepared be fully ready to go and then go to medical school and get in some place great be great you know be all about that like I said it's all about dominating pre-med so I'm gonna get back in here and do this case today I'm doing a a three vessel cabbage so coronary artery bypass graft so right now the chest is actually open um, and my attending is giving me a, a couple minute break here because uh, it's intense in there it's crazy putting all these lines in there's blood everywhere ah 
Um, but um, anyway, so I just want to go live. This is my very, very first live YouTube video. If you guys like this, if you like this live format, I just saw you guys can comment, which is kind of cool. So maybe in the future, we can do some live stuff and you guys can ask questions of me. I don't know if that sounds appealing, but if it does sound appealing, make sure you like this video and make sure leave some comments in the box and let me know, do that again. Give me more live videos and we can do that. Um, so trying to get at you guys um, and trying to always stay in touch. I have a lot of exciting stuff happening on my website. So you guys need to get over there. I have new courses that are going to blow your mind coming out soon. So I wish you guys all the best for the day. Have an awesome week. Be productive. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.